Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna and I'm a little bit spooky. And today we are reviewing the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So if you want to see how this foundation holds up throughout the day and all the details about it, just keep on watching. But before you do, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment down below some of the drugstore foundations you would like to see reviews of. I love testing out new foundations. So yeah, today we will be uh, demoing and we're testing the Photo Focus, the Wet Model Photo Focus Dewy version. I'm really excited about it. I'm like, yes, after that Maybelline one being such a misleading product, I'm in the mood for some dewy skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start out with my primer as I usually would do. I'm doing all my normal stuff to give this the best chance it has for myself. Um, I think I'm gonna prime with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty today, which is a product that I know how it works and how it wears on me. And we're gonna use the Sony Kashuk sponge just to spread it around the face and all the areas that I tend to have the most pore issues or whatever. I'm gonna get their illuminating one. I'm gonna try to find it today. I'm out and about. Oh, the sponge is cold, it feels good. These lights like kind of make my face hot. This one, like, my face looks red a lot of times. It's just because I'm flush from warm lights against me. Now, let's go in with this foundation. I'm so excited. Give her a little shake. Of course, you get the little paddle. I am in the palest shade, I do believe, it exists porcelain. See, I was not a fan of the original Photo Focus foundation. I didn't like the way it set on my skin. But I love, love, love the stick foundation. And I've never liked the stick foundation. So I'm just going to decant some of this on the back of my hand here. I'm going to take a little bit on my sponge and kind of just pounce her in there. Okay, we're going to get started. I always start at the bottom around my jaw where I'll usually have a lot of discoloration in the cheek area. And I'm just going to pounce it on and see how this coverage is. I'm already liking it. <laughs> like it's not super full coverage or anything so far, but it looks good. And this color match is like dead on. Damn. It's spreading out across the face very easily as well. See, I haven't used this before. Man, that went on like a dream. Just onto the skin, just blended right into my skin <laughs> perfectly. It's not super full coverage yet by any means, but I've just did a little bit. It's like a very light layer, which I think would be lovely for every day. This color is almost absolutely perfect on me. Which I didn't feel like that was the case for the other liquid foundation. I feel like it was too yellow on me, the regular original formula. So I'm gonna take a little more and kind of do some building in areas that need a little more coverage. Oh yeah, that's got nice coverage. It's definitely like a medium coverage. And my sponge is probably soaking up quite a bit of the product as well. And this is a damp. I love a damp sponge. I, I'm not a brush girl. Yeah, this coverage is really nice finish looks great this definitely looks incredibly skin like not makeup y at a distance anyway i'll get up close in a second when i finish in a mirror and really analyze it but so far i'm i'm happy with it that last foundation i did the review of the maybelline one i was iffy on it from the get-go i mean since then it's improved but this looks so just natural and nice why don't you you done done something. That is blending so well and covering all my trouble spots. My redness is getting covered up. I can still see my freckles. This is like everything I could want in a foundation so far. As far as the finish, it does look very dewy but not overly so. Okay, let me look in a mirror up close here and see what she looks like. It looks pretty good. It's a little cakey around the nose. My nose is kind of dry over here around my nose ring. It looks good on the forehead. It looks good on the chin. The cheeks look great. Yeah, this looks a very just natural, like really skin-like. It doesn't look makeup-y or heavy. So I feel like the uh, original formula is a little heavy looking on my skin. I do have a combination leaning dry skin. Of course, during the winter months right now, it's a little bit drier, especially in my nose because I've been itchy and rubbing it because I got allergies. Didn't look at settling any smile lines yet or anything like that. It's definitely sitting nicely on my skin. So you'll see a little bit of redness and freckles poking through, but it looks very natural. It doesn't look odd or anything like that or like it, you need more coverage. I'm going to build up a little more just to see how it builds. 
just in the center of my face. Okay, my chin is building pretty well, looks like. Yeah, I think that's about the limit of its coverage. I don't know if it's clinging to any dryness or anything around my nose too bad. Maybe it touch just right, right in this little crease where it's just been dry lately. Just blending. I love blending foundation in and like working it into the skin. It just feels, I don't know, it's kind of a relaxing experience. Yeah, that is a beautiful finish on first impression. I really like it. And the, the color match is just perfection. I couldn't ask for a better color match for me, which is pretty rare at the drugstore especially. I think the other color match that I like the most is uh, Pearl from L'Oreal. Fairly similar. I think the Wet n Wild is just a, a hair deeper and it's the slight deepness that I need. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer and I will do that. Sit my face and everything and we'll be back for the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look complete using the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy. Um, I love the way my skin is looking. It feels super lightweight and just, yes, like dewy goodness. Admittedly, I set my face pretty well <laughs> because I just like to set my face. I don't know, I'm, I'm weird. Even though I have kind of skin that veers on the drier side, I like a good set down base even if I'm using a dewy foundation. <laughs> I just want that dew to peep through, you know? Anyway, to set my face, I use the Fit Me powder on the center portion of my face and the outer portion I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus one. This one is lighter and then this one's a little bit deeper on me, so it kind of, you know, works out. I also used for concealer the Photo Focus concealer. So yeah, this is how it's looking right now. It has probably been on my face for about 30 minutes. So far, absolutely excellent. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of this foundation. So let's talk about some of the claims of the new Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. According to the Wet n Wild website, the newest innovation to the cult favorite Photo Focus franchise, Dewy Foundation, a weightless, super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all day wear. Silky and creamy coverage is easily buildable from medium to full and easily transitions from day to night. Ideal for normal to dry skin, this moisturizing formula blends seamlessly, blurs imperfections, and helps minimize the appearance of pores for a perfect smooth dewy finish available in 20 cruelty-free, gluten-free, talc-free, and vegan shades. Ultra lightweight, moisturizing formula, delivers buildable coverage and long-lasting hydrating glow. Okay, so let's unpack here. <laughs> The coverage to me is not quite full coverage. Like I did have, you know, go in with concealer and stuff afterwards and got it to this point. But to me, it, of course, keep in mind, I am using a beauty sponge that was damp. I don't do brushes because it just, me and brushes don't get along. So to me, I found it to be a light medium foundation, buildable to a higher medium, if that makes sense. It is incredibly weightless and does feel really moisturizing and light on the skin. I don't, my face doesn't feel tight or dry. It feels fabulous, in fact, on my skin. Like, I love it. It doesn't look makeup-y. I don't see, like, obvious pores or anything like that. I think the finish is beautiful, very skin-like. It doesn't look like foundation on the skin. Like, it, it sits beautifully. Like, it almost melts into your skin. But so far, I definitely think their claims are dead-on accurate. Um, we will do a full day wear test though and see how long lasting she is. So far it's looking great. We are at an hour mark right now. I, I do believe right about, yeah, I think, yeah, it's an hour mark. Um, really nice. It's not really settling into my smile lines too bad. It, every product settles into this side smile line a little bit. So that's not a big deal. I usually have some creasing on my chin. Uh, it doesn't look cakey or too bad there or anything like yeah, I definitely, definitely prefer this to the original formula. Uh, is it going to be as good as the stick? That's what we're going to find out. It's definitely more coverage than the stick foundation is to me. The color match is phenomenal for me. Like, it is the perfect foundation color. Uh, they do have uh, 20 shades, and it looks like they have quite a broad spectrum of shades I'll show on screen. 
so yeah, that's so far what uh, my thoughts are. We are gonna wear it. Mm, we're gonna aim for 12 hours and see how far we get. That means I gotta wear it until about eight o'clock tonight. And I've been awake since eight o'clock last night ish. So we'll see how far we get with the wear test, but I'm gonna try to get out of the house a little bit, move around and give her a good little testing. So far though, I'm loving. Check in, it is three o'clock. I'm still awake and have edited a video. <laughs> I mean, I should stay awake while I edit the video. Amazing, because I'm so sleepy. But um, anyway, foundation has been on since nine o'clock this morning. So it has been on for, so we're at about the seven hour mark. Um, everything is looking pretty good. We're in natural daylight right now because the sun came out finally and we can see some daytime. Pumpkin is squeaking. Of course, because I sit on the floor. It's not breaking down too bad or looking like a little cakey like I could use a little bit of a refresh with some spray but again the finish still looks pretty good and I think it looks nice uh, I'm still pretty pleased with it it's not really breaking down anywhere see my mirror here yeah I don't see it breaking down or looking patchy or anything I'm not oily but I still look just very skin like and nice there's a little bit of like Pores don't look too great, like right here, cakey around my chin, and I have touched my chin a little bit because I was sitting at the computer. I will try to stay up another till five, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how far I get, but I will do a check in before I go to bed. <laughs> okay, final check in. It's the final check in. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Demonetized. <laughs> okay, so final check in. Vert. Oh, by the way, it's 5 20 in the evening. I've had this on for eight hours now. I've had dinner, gone to the mall, did some shopping, did some editing. And uh, yeah, the foundation actually looks the same as it did at the 3 p.m. check, check in. And Pumpkin is squeaking again because toys <laughs> and I'm sitting on the floor so I decided to sit in front of my window again because it's still daylight I'm freaking tired and don't feel like <laughs> doing all the studio stuff but yeah everything looks I've got a mirror in front of me by the way so I can see what's going on it looks the same it looks great like for eight hours I think it looks perfectly fine there's a little breakdown just where I've touched my face and like actually like, forgot and like scratched and like rubbed my nose I do have some dryness around my mouth already, and over here around the side of my nose is quite dry, so it got a little cakey there. Otherwise, everything held up pretty well all day. I didn't do any touch-ups or anything like that. So my final verdict on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation is it's pretty dang good. I definitely like it better than the original formula. It's up there with the stick formula to me. The color match is so perfect, punk and chill. She's trying to get her squeaky from me. Yes. Quite pleased with the performance from it. It was fairly long wearing. Um, I don't think, it, you know, I wouldn't be able to go a whole 12 hours with it looking perfect or anything. Like, I can still see it. Like, I already kind of need some touches up here and there. A little powder probably wouldn't kill me. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely great for dry skin, like they said, and very weightless. Forgot I had makeup on today. Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, good foundation. Thumbs up from me. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Let me know what other foundations you would like to see me review from the, the drugstore because I love testing drugstore foundations because I mean, there are always so, so many good ones out there and they're just fun to test out because they're affordable and you're not, you know, <laughs> throwing a bunch of money away if it sucks. I'm gonna go wash my face and go to bed because I've been up um, about 20 hours at this point. <laughs> So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky. Bye now.